Jenk endorses Shapiro for VP deranged. What? Don't fall for the misinformation campaign. Josh Shapiro's the progressive choice for VP from Jenk Uger. So is he a monstrous right winger on Israel? Not at all. His position on Israel is correct. Okay, Benjamin Gilbert Liff, I need to confront you directly about this, okay? You know that they're paid off, right? You know that TY, it's not just a gas leak. The bad opinions that seemingly have no internal ideological coherence started pouring out of TYT right around the time Cenk Uger was simultaneously juggling a presidential campaign for, uh, you know, the eyeballs, and having money issues. They were talking about this in private talks. There is a literally like a direct relationship between, hey, you know, why aren't people listening to us? Where's the money going? And them having an insane turn, holding opinions that are like, how do you simultaneously rep this weird, like, JFK Jr., third party, uh, uh, not campus necessarily, but like anything at any cost, progressivism, pseudo pragmatic, you know, leftist perspective, and then also be like, nah, you know, Josh Shapiro isn't monstrously right wing on Israel. Josh Shapiro literally said Palestinians are too battle minded to create a peaceful homeland. Palestinians will not coexist peacefully. They do not have the capabilities to establish their own homeland and make it successful, even with the aid of Israel and the United States. Dude, this is literally race science. This is this is identical to the other Shapiro statement. Uh, is it the last name? Is that what does it? The Shapiro? Is it just like nominative determinism, where it makes you racist against Arabs? I, w I would actually argue this is worse than what Ben Shapiro said. Ben Shapiro said Israelis like to build stuff, Arabs like to bomb crap and live in sewage, which comes across as like ironic and unserious enough that it sounds like hyperbole. This sounds like a straightforward, unhyperbolic statement. It's like the difference between a person making a casually racist comment and a person sitting you down and explaining race science. You know what I mean? Scroll down, he also volunteered for the IDF. I, I know, I know about that. He's really bad, man. That take was from 20 years ago, apparently. Oh, it says down here. 20-year-old Josh Shapiro. Not even 20, 30 years ago. 30 years ago. Okay. So his views have changed, but he still uh, supports the idea that Iran is funding our college protesters, thinks that, like, you know, standing ovation, Netanyahu. How, how has it changed? Like, Ben Shapiro has also said that he's changed since that tweet. Like, he's also derided that tweet. Ben Shapiro made an, uh, wrote an article where he was like, my biggest mistakes, and one of them was that tweet. Those decades-old views stand in contrast to Shapiro's positions today. He supports a two-state solution in the region. Wow, what a wacky coincidence. He supports a, a two-state solution, right, as he's about to become part of the, uh, you know, like, federal... Uh, like the presidential, uh, you potentially become part of the presidential ticket for the party for the the official position of which is we want a two-state solution. He described the Arab world as fractious and wrote that the then Palestinian leader Yasser Arafat was in danger of being assassinated, quote, by his fellow belligerent Arabs. That's how, that's how I like to describe Yasser Arafat. You know, that's the choice of words that I would go for in an article that I'm writing and I can choose any words in the world, you know? Yes, sir. I don't, Benjamin, money is more likely than brain damage. Like you, you realize that basically everyone in this space is a grifter, right? Like everyone's just trying to pay their rent at the end of the day. My man's got a lot of opinions on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Shapiro sp supported cutting off state ties with entities that engage in boycotts of Israel or of Israeli settlements in the occupied West Bank. In 2021, Ben and Jerry's announced that it planned to end sales in Israeli settlements in the West Bank and East Jerusalem while continuing to seek sales in Israel through a different arrangement. Then Attorney General Shapiro reportedly supported calls to unleash Pennsylvania's anti-BDS law on Ben and Jerry's. This was three years ago. Ben and Jerry's is like, we don't want to sell ice cream in the illegal internationally denounced Israeli settlements in the West Bank where they have legal apartheid. And Josh Shapiro is like, nope, sorry, it's illegal to not do business in the illegal settlements in Israel. Sorry, uh-uh, we will hold you criminally liable. We are going to bring down the law on you if you dare not support the illegal settlements. 
At the time, Shapiro claimed BDS was rooted in anti-Semitism and praised Pennsylvania's anti-BDS law. Wow, um, criticism of Israeli apartheid is anti-Semitic. Crazy. And five years earlier. In 2024, as governor, Shapiro pledged to sign a proposed law that would block state funding of colleges and universities engaged in boycott or divestment from Israel. Wow, as recently as this year, he basically just wants to make it illegal to criticize Israel. That's so cool, man. That's great. Benjamin, I'm really sorry, dude. They've been paid off for years. They'll just say what they're paid to say, okay? Um, it, it can be that and brain damage. Like, there are tons of right-wing grifters who are brain damaged and also just say what they get paid to say. Tucker Carlson has brain damage and gets paid what he's said, or, or sorry, <laughs> what, says what he's paid to say. Like, I'm come, come on, sh Ben. Ben, listen, okay? There's a truth you have to accept. I'm the only real one. Now give me another $500 donation through YouTube Super Chat that sends $160 to YouTube. A term the bill defined to include any activity intended to financially penalize the government of Israel. It will be illegal to not give your money to Israel. This is the progressive choice for VP. I was not paid money to write this article in Newsweek. Defended Israel's right to defend herself in the face of this barbarism, referring to... October 7th. Shapiro faced criticism for his remarks in a letter written by Karen signed by 43 Pennsylvania Muslim organizations who said Shapiro did not recognize the structural root cause of the conflict and chose to intentionally ignore the civilian loss of life in Gaza. In an interview, Shapiro agreed that the Palestinian population is distinct from Hamas. Oh, that's nice. He doesn't think they're all Hamas. That's so great. There are so many peace-loving Arabs and peace-loving people in that region, no question. Weird thing to say. The kind of thing that you would say if you're um, subscribed to the essentialist mantra of there are evil Arabs and there are good Arabs. Benjamin Gilbert Liff says, apparently without a hint of irony, Jenk has looked me in the eye and said he's not paid off. If he's willing to lie to someone to their face like that, I don't know. It's just not the vibe I get, but I'm 24. Maybe I'm naive and loyal. I have, I can't res there, I have no response to that. I, I wish I had... You know what? In a way... In a way, what you are all mocking right now, it's strength. In a way, it's strength. I've had an eight-year relationship with him. Wait, Benjamin, and you're 24? Uh-oh. Wee-woo, wee-woo. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. You heard it here first, folks. Not that kind, Lamau. It's too late! Clip it and ship it. All right. On December 3rd, a pro-Palestinian protest accused Jewish-owned Philadelphia restaurant Goldie of supporting the genocide of Palestinians in the Gaza Strip by sending the restaurant's profits to a provider of protected gear and training for the IDF during the war. Shapiro visited the restaurant in a show of support and said the purposeful gathering of a mob outside this restaurant simply because it is owned by a Jewish person. What a piece of shit, man. Dude, they're liars. Dude, Benjamin, everyone's a grifter but me. I'm sorry. Josh Shapiro's a grifter. Do you think Josh Shapiro genuinely believed that these pro-Palestinian protesters only showed up outside of Goldie's because it was owned by Jewish people? Or do you think that Josh Shapiro knew they were protesting the profits of the restaurant being sent to arm the IDF, and he's just lying because it's politically expedient? Shapiro is a, f a grifter psycho and your man's uh, choice for VP, the progressive choice for VP. Look, he's getting more moderate here as time goes on, probably because he sees the writing on the wall. We can't ignore the death and destruction that's occurred in Gaza. Shapiro condemned pro-Palestinian protests in American colleges. Shapiro said the demonstrators were not, quote, by any stretch, all anti-Semitic, and suggested that anti-Semitic speech is treated more leniently than white supremacist speech. In regards to students being blocked from going to campus just because they're Jewish, Shapiro compared such an act to the Ku Klux Klan. He called for a police crackdown on the pro-Palestinian encampment at the University of Penn. Well, that was cool. So why, do, why does Jenk think he's good? Wall Street banks make an intense amount of money by running the pension funds in many different states. They view the state employees who run those funds as suckers and charge exorbitant fees for mediocre results. Shapiro put an end to that when he was chairman of the Montgomery County Board of Commission. We're going all the way back? Dude, he was paid to write this! Oh yeah, I sincerely believe Josh Shapiro is the progressive choice for VP. I'm citing information gathered from when he was the chairman of the county board of commissioners in Montgomery. I'm definitely not just reading off a list of pointers that I was given by somebody who paid me $12,000 to write this article. Jesus Christ. He took on predatory lenders when he was AG of Pennsylvania. This is how I talk when I have a sincere contrary point. 
uh, that I want to make. I now understand why you don't accept money from people to do what you do. It's a poison, dude. It's insane. Remember, the real progressive causes are not the ones that pay out well. If you're genuinely on the progressive side of things, if you're like oppositional to the, I don't know, liberal Democrat side, there's no money for you there unless you become a campist and you start getting that like, you know, Russian, you know, you kind of get, you get, you get the back channel dollars, but that's not progressive, mind you. So that's like fake progressive or crowdfunding. That's it. You know, um, past that point, like the real money, you, you the real money to get the money, you have to stand one of two groups. Okay. You have to stand corporations or nation states. That's it. Those are, that's where money comes from. Uh, if you're not doing that, you're getting individual donations, which is what I get. And I'm not pretending that I don't make plenty of money doing it. Of course I do. I'm only saying that, like, if you want real money, it's nation states and it's corporations. And ideally, a leftist will defend neither. That's why top leftist commentators are streamers, not news pundits. Yes, that is literally true. You can find a ton of pundits and grifters on the right wing and on the liberal side. But on the left, like the left left, all of a sudden it's just... YouTubers and live streamers. Why? Because the only place they can get their money from is donations. Regular people. Why can't there be another Engels? God, every day I ask myself this. If I didn't tell you who was behind that move, you might have guessed the politician I was describing was Elizabeth Warren or Bernie Sanders. Don't put their names in the same sentence, you f traitor. Also, seriously, taking on predatory lenders? That taking on predatory lenders isn't exactly like an extreme far left ultra partisan cause that only hyper communists would engage in. Like the entire history of finance law has been taking on predatory lenders like that, like mainstream that. Yeah, like Jesus Christ. You would have guessed that because you can count on one hand the number of Democrats willing to take on giant corporate power and companies that could be potential donors. Yeah, dude, mainstream Democrats definitely never like oppose predatory lending that's that's true the only only communists push for anti-predatory lending laws that's so true that's so correct in fact i'm worried about writing this editorial for fear of tipping off the donors me when my check clears in fact, I'm worried about writing this editorial for fear of tipping them off. For all they know, Shapiro is an establishment Democrat, especially now he's being accused by the progressive left of being one of the least progressive Democrats because of his position on Israel. It's likely the donor class has no idea how progressive he might actually be. This is cult language, Benjamin, just so you know. Cult language is in large part centered on making the reader believe that they are party to secret information that the elites don't want you to know. This is why Tucker Carlson almost exclusively talks in this language. It's a way of appearing to the conspiratorially minded, you know? It's the, the goal is to make you think you're in on it, you know? This is poli sci gooner fanfic. Literally it is, yeah, you know? Ha, yeah, Let we don't want the donors to be tipped off on the publicly available political positions of a governor and potential vice presidential candidate of the United States of America, you know? I don't think the donor class is aware of the information you can get by typing in Josh Shapiro Wikipedia and then clicking on the first link that shows up in Google. This is cult language. And this is, by the way, something I pride myself on. I genuinely try to avoid this language whenever possible. For the most part, I believe that you can arrive at very well-reasoned, sound political positions by engaging in analysis that is straightforward and nearly universally applicable. This is why I'm a big proponent of Marxism, not just like as a social group, but as a... Um, I don't like to use the term science because I don't believe that it is, but it does sound cool when I say it's a dialectical sci a science, so that's what I'm going to say. Because it's a methodology for approaching uh issues like this you know critical theory it's a social science certainly um a dialectical social science i don't like to engage in this kind of conspiratorial language because i think the answers to these questions are generally pretty straightforward and easy to understand you know why do people do what they do because of class interest because of material conditions. Well, let's break it down, you know? I don't try to frame this as, like, secret knowledge. I think everyone should have it. I I, I don't think that you're, like, operating in the, the periphery of social knowledge. I don't think you're, like, unearthing secrets, the likes of which the world has never seen. I just don't like fronting it that way. I think that's bullshit. Speaking of Shapiro's donors, one of his biggest is a billionaire GOP who had Shapiro divert money from public schools to private religious schools. Well, I hope that billionaire Republican donor doesn't type in Josh Shapiro Wikipedia and find out that he's actually the most progressive VP pick possible. 
Here he's saying that Netanyahu's a terrible leader. The pro list is much longer than this one con. This one con, he's referring to all of his positions on Israel. Governor Shapiro also busted the pedophiles inside the Catholic Church. Do you know how much courage it takes to... What did he do with the Catholic Church? Do you mean he just, as an AG, presided over a sexual assault or rape case? Is that busting the pedophiles inside the Catholic Church? 300 sounds like a lot. I don't know what the story is. Very vague language here. Yes, he has frustrating positions like his recent push to lower corporate taxes in his... The donor class cannot find out. I'm worried about tipping off the donor class to how economically progressive you might think. Oh, you, you hear this guy went after predatory lenders, a position shared by basically every politician in the country, at least nominally. You might think this guy is what, Karl Marx too? No, we're talking about Josh Shapiro. I hope we don't tip the donors off. The donors probably are aware for his continuous push to lower corporate taxes. So you don't get it. The donor class wants to pay more taxes. <laughs> The reality is that almost all the Democrats do exactly what their donors uh, order them to do. Uh, uh, you know, I guess uh, Jenk would know. He knows exactly what that's like. So when I see someone who has defied the donors several times to help the average voter, I'm a little shocked. Jesus Christ. I just want to know how much he was paid for this. How much does it pay? How much does it pay to, like, sell your soul? Compared to like one TTS stream is what I'm wondering. How how far will I have to get into Shadow of the Air Tree? Does this even sound convincing to people? This isn't meant to sound convincing to people. He typed this up in 30 minutes because he was paid to do it. You know, have you ever seen a raid Shadow Legend sponsored segment? You know how YouTubers have to disclose if they're doing a sponsored segment? Newsweek uh, op-ed writers don't. Raid is made by an Israeli company. Huh. Is raid Shadow Legends any good? No. General rule, don't play free-to-play games, ever. You'll be a lot happier.